So this feature, when combined with multiple render nodes, can actually act kind of like a um, a cheap little take system, for example. If I were to copy this node and say, maybe I wanted a different camera angle. So the way I copied that was, by the way, I'm gonna grab that node, I'm gonna hold down the Alt key and just drag it down. And that gives us a second copy here. I'm gonna go over here and create a different camera and drag that down. So I've got a different camera and a different um, a different render uh, a different render node here. And so on this one, I'm going to go to the main and I'm going to render camera two. And so now on this this node's rendering camera one, and this node this first node is rendering camera one. This node's rendering camera two. I could uh, pick like a different camera angle here. I should just select being in camera two mode and click the lock and reposition my camera. I'm just gonna change the lighting mode so I can see a little bit better. But I can just reposition the camera and say I wanted to get like a nice beauty shot of this splash down here. Um, and I would be able to uh, render these two different nodes separately. Um, so now if I go up here and click render, it's still rendering this initial ROP that I had chosen right here. But if we go up here into, uh, if we go up here to the Houdini menu right here, we can select which ROP we wanna render. So we're rendering this first ROP, which is for camera one. We wanna switch cameras, we can switch it over to ROP two. And now we're looking at this camera view. So that's kinda cool. And from here we could do more, um, we could adjust all the settings. Uh, a lot of times what I like to do is work with a low res and a high res ROP and adjust my settings accordingly, uh, depending on whether I want to render uh, a high quality output or not. It just makes it nice and easy to switch between the two like that. So I'm gonna put this back. Let's just get rid of this other camera and let's get rid of this other wrap and let's fire off another render. And we are back, should be back to our normal view like so. I might also set my view back to camera one at this point. And then notice it's red because I had lo I'd hit the locked icon to um, move that other camera. I'm just going to untick the lock option there just to make sure that I don't accidentally move my main camera.